Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Google Forms with HubSpot. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at <clears throat> Google Forms or log into your existing Google account. Once we are in here, we'll soon find out that there's no way we can make this integration work straight to Google Forms. So we have to use the uh, help of third-party app. I've decided to use automate.io. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And once we are here, let's go to the top corner of our screen and click on integrations or just hover mouse over it. Once you do that, this pop-up window will show up and let's go to the bottom left part of it and click on see all categories. At app integrations, uh, we should start by picking the first app that we want to integrate. In our case, it's Google Forms. As you can see, there are Google Forms as the third option. Once we chose Google Forms, now we have to pick its counterpart, which will be HubSpot. Like this. Straight away, we are greeted with a couple of popular integrations at automate.io. But if we won't be able to find the one that we are looking for, keep scrolling down so you can create can, so you can get the option of creating your own integration. Just remember, on the left side underneath the triggers, we want to start with Google Forms, so there's only one option. On the opposite side though, we want to start with the HubSpot. And as you can see, we have more options to pick from. But let's go with the first one. All we have to do now is click on Try It Now button. Uh, once we are at a sign up page, all we have to do now is to log in or register into our ultimate.io account. And we are a few clicks away from finishing this integration. We can also use Zapier.com, which is a very similar app to Automate. And once we create an account here, let's go to the top left corner and click on Create Zap. Now, uh, there's a, we, we should set up the first trigger. And as you probably thought, it's through Google Forms. Trigger event, let's go with the first one, continue. Now we have to log into the account that we created, continue. Now we have to set up a trigger from a spreadsheet. There's a couple of spreadsheets that I already got going on. So let's go with like this one. Now let's go with the pie, we hit continue. And now uh, we can test the trigger between two of those. On the second action though, we should, prob uh, as you probably thought, we should go with HubSpot, like this. We should start with the action event. I went for the first one. And the last thing is, is to sign in to HubSpot itself. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.